What if there was an invention officially granted a U.S. patent number 4151431 whose inventor claimed it could generate enough power to run an entire town and all of it without a single drop of fuel? This isn't science fiction, folks. It's documented history. We're talking about a claimed output of up to 110 kilowatts of continuous power a technology that could have wiped out your electric bills and completely changed the shape of the global economy. But this technology, despite all its promises, never made it to our homes. Why? Is it possible that the invisible force that makes a refrigerator magnet stick is actually the key to an unlimited energy revolution that conventional science simply didn't allow us to access? Did this invention disappear simply because it was too successful? And the big one, who was the man who dared to challenge the world's energy system with just a piece of magnet? That's what we're going to uncover in today's episode. If you're into exposing the secrets that could change our lives, hit that like button if you dig this content. The hero of our story is Howard Robert Johnson. Born in the United States in 1919, Johnson worked as an engineer, but his life took a radical turn when his obsession shifted to an invisible force all around us, magnetism. While the world was racing to develop internal combustion engines and conventional electric motors, Johnson was obsessed with one simple but profound question. How could a magnetic force push and pull things without any physical contact? More importantly, if that force could be correctly organized, could it create a perpetual, never-ending motion? At the time, the scientific consensus was absolute, impossible. A magnet, according to the known laws of physics, cannot produce continuous work that exceeds the energy input or the energy consumed internally. That's the law of energy conservation. But for Johnson, impossible wasn't a fact. It was just a challenge that hadn't been understood yet. For decades, Johnson worked in humble workshops, not chasing fame, but pursuing freedom from the grip of power monopolies. He didn't see a magnet as a refrigerator accessory. He saw it as a natural engine. His reply to the skeptics was powerful and simple. If magnetism comes from the rotation of electrons inside the atom, Amperian currents, then why can't we harness that intrinsic movement and convert it into continuous kinetic energy? He built strange-looking prototypes, wheels covered in magnets, arranged with insane precision. And some of those who saw these models with their own eyes watched them spin for long periods without a battery or any fuel. For Johnson, these models proved he was on the brink of discovering a loophole in conventional physics. Johnson didn't stop at experimenting. He documented his work and secured important patents, including Number one, the permanent magnet motor, U.S. patent 4151-431. The core idea. This wasn't a traditional electric motor. It was a device that relied on a precise and specific arrangement of fixed and moving magnets, the rotor. The mechanism. His claim. Johnson claimed that the exact geometric arrangement of the rotor and stator magnets allowed him to control the magnetic flux, creating continuous attractive and repulsive forces that were more effective than the opposing forces trying to stop the motion, resulting in continuous rotation. The claimed power. Some models were said to be capable of generating enough mechanical work to run an electric generator with output estimates ranging from 5 to 10 kilowatts. The magnetic force generator. The alleged design. This was considered his masterpiece, a larger machine layered with magnets in an incredibly precise, complex geometric structure. The theoretical potential was estimated at up to 110 kilowatts of continuous power. That's enough power for a whole neighborhood. Its advantage? It didn't need sunlight like solar or wind like turbines. It was simply a latent force within the material itself. The scientific stance. It's important to clarify that the current scientific consensus affirms that permanent magnets cannot generate continuous mechanical work without consuming some source of energy. 
even if it were the potential energy within the magnetic field itself. Otherwise, it would fundamentally be a perpetual motion machine violating the laws of physics. What Johnson invented represented a direct threat to the multi-trillion dollar energy industry. The idea of free energy, with no bills and no monopolistic control by giant corporations, was simply unimaginable to powerful economic interests. The circulating narrative tells of a fierce battle, bureaucratic rejection. Johnson faced years of challenge and rejection, with his patent applications repeatedly denied on the grounds that they violated the laws of physics. Mysterious pressures. Supporters of Johnson claimed his applications were being rejected without logical explanation, that investors pulled out after receiving warnings, and that Johnson himself received direct threats. Marginalization and ridicule. They didn't just fight him with scientific evidence of ineffectiveness. They fought him with ridicule, slander, and labeling him as a fraud or a madman, ultimately burying his work under a wave of skepticism. As the years passed, Johnson's health declined, his resources ran out, and the conventional scientific community ignored him. Ultimately, his machines faded into obscurity. But the idea never died. Howard Johnson passed away in 2006, but his vision is still alive and well. Today, with advanced tools like 3D printing and computer simulations, a new generation of engineers and hobbyists are revisiting his work. Forums and online groups are full of people trying to build replicas of his devices in their garages, and some even claim that their models run for longer periods than conventionally thought possible. In our current world, with rising energy costs and mounting climate pressure, Johnson's dream no longer sounds like science fiction. It sounds like a necessity for survival. The final message. Howard Johnson believed that energy should be free. Free from wires. Free from fuel. Free from corporate control. His dream wasn't just about machines. It was about human liberation. And the eternal question remains. What if he was right? What if the future of energy isn't about discovering something new, but about rediscovering a principle that's been with us all along? Share your opinion in the comments. Do you think inventions like this are actually suppressed, or are they just failed attempts to defy established physics? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting episodes. We'll see you in the next video.